name is Aksana Bocharova. I'm a Russian immigrant. Um, immigrated into the United States in 1999, uh, working in agriculture for my entire life in Russia and in the United States. I have an, have an education in agriculture as well. Um, <clears throat> since I moved here, I, I um, had the dream to purchase my own land and start farming the same thing I was doing back home. Um, and eventually in two, uh, 2013, uh, with the FSA loan, I was able to pursue that dream. So now it's been three years. I have my lovely field that I work. Uh, the business is developing. It's doing well. And I'm just looking forward into getting more yields and improving my soil quality and get better revenue. Moving here uh, from another country was a big challenge, um, financial challenge, of course, as everyone probably can imagine. So for me to obtain the commercial loan from a commercial institution was not possible. I was making 30000 a year as a farm manager, um, and of course nobody would provide me money to start my own place. So by, by visiting, uh, attending the different workshops around uh, around the United States um, within six years, I found out about uh, the money that are available from USDA, the, gra the, the loans that were designed for uh, beginner farmers, women farmers, immigrant farmers uh, to obtain the land and start their own business, start their farming. So I started working towards that, um, getting more information throughout the um, FSA office. Um, every place I go, um, every speech I hear that was related to it, I would ask questions. So it took me, and I started saving money because I realized that it's, it's not that easy to, to get that loan, so you have to have some cash on hands. So it took me about five years until I was ready to apply for the first time. I thought I had enough money. I thought I had a good, a good um, business plan. Um, so I, I applied and was started working through the process with FSA loan officer. Um, I got the I got an approval, but the money and were not was not available from the USDA. Um, so I had to wait until the, 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 the funds would be available and eventually the property that I had in mind first was taken off the market because they couldn't wait for me anymore. So um, I thought it was another failure in my life, but, <laughs> but then the USDA decided to give us, uh, me and other people who were, who were in that process to give us another month to find the property, to get it financed. So I really had only one month to find something that will suit my budget, will suit my needs, and I ended up buying this. Um, so finally it worked, it took me six years, but, but it does work. The requirements was to get, get go through the bar, borrower's um, program um, to get more knowledge on finances and to show FSA that yes, I do know how to budget, yes, I do know how to do my simple spreadsheet. And FSA suggested suggested a few a few programs. So I choose any project. I chose any project, um, and I I am happy that I did. It really provided me a lot of information on uh, financial documents, um, balance sheets, cash flows, um, and others, and even basic knowledge about spreadsheet that that I actually had, but still. Um, was new information I was able to learn, the marketing tips that I, I am finding is very great for a beginner and especially for the person who just started. And for me, the person who was even a foreigner, it was, it was even better. It was, it was like five times probably useful than it would be. <laughs> Some in five years is going to make a rich her goal, her financial goal, mm -hmm. which is pretty ambitious. And this land that was pretty depleted was clear, so I'm working on improving the soil quality, um, basically to bring up an organic matter in this soil. So in five years, I am thinking to see the results of all my work. Yeah.